guy just on the beat. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi i'm sandy and welcome to my channel excuse my lace y'all in the viewfinder it looked a lot better than that and also when i actually used the lace spray stuff it melts so much better so just excuse that and if you're new and you want to become a part of the center babe gang all you got to do is subscribe that's it and now you're a part of the center babe gang that's all you got to do how you guys let me forget already i'm trying to start doing the whole you know notification shout out so here's the shout out from last videos on um, notification if you guys would like to get a notification like them all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed because you got to be a cinebabe period and comment on the last video just comment whatever you want to comment as long as it's like from the heart of a genuine comment you'll be featured in the next video so let's get right back to this video <laughs> but in today's video i am going to be talking about my six week update with my bbl if you do not know if you do not see my other videos in my playlist it'll be linked down below and also at the end of this video if you want to wait till the end um i have my bbl vlog which is doing really good people are enjoying it and it's very informational if you want to check that out so all of that again link down in the description box if you guys are interested in this hair so i'll have a link down below you guys can check out that video on this hair which i absolutely love but anyway now we can start the video so if you do not know i got a bbl with i got lipo 360 with bbl on december 2nd of 2020 and i will be six weeks this upcoming wednesday i'll put the date on the screen because brain fart i do not know what today is to be honest so basically at the beginning of this video i'm just going to be telling you guys about what i went through the things that i'm learning um just different little stuff and yes in this video i will be showing you my body i'll show it to you in like full time because i had people that was just like hush show me your body <laughs> so i will be showing you guys my body in this video right now i'm currently in my faha i just ordered me a um the lipo board and foam 360 thing together because the way i do it now i'm not feeling it i'm kind of over it and plus i feel like i'm not getting enough compression like on certain places of my body like i definitely feel like i need more compression in my back i feel like i need more compression on the front of my stomach i just need them everywhere so i feel like getting the 360 will help me to like get even compression everywhere so that's one thing i did just order that um depending on it's supposed to come here friday so depending on when it comes and if it's like good quality and stuff i will link it down below in this video and if not i would not link it and that would be why but so that's one thing number two in my last video i was telling you guys how i was not eating the best <laughs> I, I still am not which i feel like i must change it now because i don't know if my stomach is like getting bigger looking off the basis because of me eating or off the basis because i'm not getting enough compression so i don't know if it's swelling or if a bitch is getting more weight <laughs> i don't know i haven't weighed myself in a minute the last time i weighed myself i was actually losing weight so maybe it is swelling maybe i'm getting fat again i don't know but that's that so I'm, I'm gonna try to start doing better with my eating and i'm um, actually eating like food food because if you know me personally you know i am a snacker i do not eat i will snack all day every day like i will eat cereal pizza like pizza that you get out the freezer section and put into the oven and yogurt like that's what i'll eat all day so i'm trying to do better like now and start like eating more food eating better protein just getting better with my eating so would you guys see, well, i will show y'all like my stomach and stuff but yeah um another i guess update i have started sitting i'm not i'm sitting on my bbl pillow right now but i have started sitting i but i do not sit like every day every time i sit down like i might sit down like once a day once every other day but i have started sitting i've sat like on in the car i've sat like on a on a leather couch but mainly i do sit on my bbl pillow or i'm just on my stomach i have laid on my back and i have laid on my side <laughs> so like i i put pressure on places that you know some people say you don't but in my paperwork it says after four weeks you can start sitting down i waited till about five weeks before i started sitting down so i mean i don't see nothing bad happening plus i'm not sitting down like i'm not sitting down all the time i sit down like once twice every other day for about i think max about 30 minutes i might be sitting down if that so but yeah i have started sitting down i wasn't wearing my faha like that like i said because to me i feel like i don't even know like when i wear all of my stuff in my faha i feel like it's still not like it's just it's too it's too jumbled like i can't wear three different foams a ad board a backboard like i feel like it's just 
it doesn't fit right in my faja. Like I be having all of these places where some places get in compression, some places it's not because it's jumbo. It just do too much. And then when I wear my faja, like some people say that they don't wear their their stuff. They just maybe wear their boards or something. When I do that, it just don't fit right. I just don't know. So I stopped wearing it for a while. Um. When I went to get my last massage, because it has been a minute since I got massages too. But when I went back and got my last massage about two, maybe three days ago, probably two days ago, she could kind of tell that I wasn't wearing my faja like when she was massaging me and stuff. And she was just like, you need to start wearing your faja. So I'm going to wear it just because I'm supposed to technically be wearing it. But I'm going to start wearing it more like I'm supposed to once I get that foam stuff. Because I feel like that's going to help me a lot more. Especially with this faja. And plus I just got my nails done. Putting these things together. Ain't no joke baby. Okay. Like. I probably should have got my nails short. But. <laughs> anyway. It's not really an update update. This is kind of like a, what's been going through my head. So as you guys know. I am in a surgery group. I love it. I highly recommend it. If you plan on getting surgery. To be in a surgery group. Like they tell you all the good. The bad. The everything. And I appreciate all of them. But it was this one girl, she's working on getting a round two. And she's not getting it with CG, she's getting it somewhere else. And she basically explained why. Which I kind of feel. And I'ma just I'm gonna tell y'all so I kinda see how I feel about it. Basically, the doctor that she's going to now was doing their consultation and he was just like he or she, I don't honestly know what the gender of her doctor was, even though it don't matter, but still. So the doctor was just like, based off of what you're telling me, your medical records and everything, CG didn't do a very good job of giving you lipo 360 in the bbl which of course like i said in my two week update i think i said it there or either we was talking about it in the comments i don't know but they don't like like in lipo 360 they don't do your upper back which is confusing to me because like lipo 360 y'all say y'all do your abdomen your flank your back that's all my back but anyway that and basically she had uneven lipo and all the other stuff and it was just like crazy because he was just like they could take up to i think 400 liters of fat and he was like to say that they took x amount of fat out of you looking at your before pictures couldn't be true if you're getting lipo 360 and bbl your surgery should not be taking an hour to two hours long they are just basically running through you trying to get it done as fast as possible and then they just making basically they're taking enough fat to give you a different look with your butt and then just passing you to the next and a lot of people which i felt come just like i was telling my mama like i got all this fat on my upper back like y'all could have took that and y'all could have did something with that like my stomach wasn't as flat as it could have been like it, like i was saying i'm not ungrateful because i look like I, I don't look the same as when i came out but it's just like i expected a little bit more than what they gave and some people be like well you paid for you get what you pay for but don't advertise <laughs> Like if you want to if you want to do better work and you want to charge more do that Like don't half-ass charge people and then do half-ass work just because you half-ass charge them Charge them what it will cost for you to do the job and then do the job Like regardless like because I when I was in my recovery house I had a girl that was in there that she paid basically the same thing that I paid for her surgery And he took all of the fat she had um incisions in the top of her back, the lower of her back, and up under her boobs. Like he he took everything and he put it in her butt. I would have loved that. And I expected that. Like that's that's what I thought was gonna happen, but no. So with all of that being said, I I ain't gonna lie to you. I have been thinking about starting to save again for a round two. Maybe. Don't come for me. Just a thought. To do a round two next year. Not next year, but the end of this year because I don't care about nothing. My summer is mine. So because it's a hot girl summer and I'm gonna pop my shit. Okay. But I am thinking about maybe like doing it like maybe again in December or something like that. To just go for go for it again go to a different place different doctor i do love my doctor super nice and i do like him but i just feel like after doing a round one and hearing all of that from a from a doll and from a doctor from a different doctor it's just like i'm gonna just take my coins elsewhere and that's also why I feel like my recovery wasn't bad. Because it wasn't really nothing done. <laughs> like, not saying what nothing done, but all the dogs who be going through, you know, crazy recovery. It's because they're, like, they're really working them. Like, they're in surgery for hours getting every, like, all your fat from everywhere. Putting it all in your butt. Like, of course they're going to be in more pain. They're getting more done. So, I kind of see that. Like, looking from, looking now, looking back. 
But yeah, so I am thinking about round two. You might think I'm crazy. Either I'm a, I'm going back to Miami like this period. But so either um I'm gonna do a round two and then I'll be done, or I'm gonna get a little phone like that. I don't want them smaller, I just want them lifted. So, either way, gonna do one of the two. So, if you see another, you know, surgery vlog pop up, just know I told you. So, I really don't have that many updates because nothing really be happening. I be home all the time. Um, I'm just home working. When I say home working, I mean with my business. Oh, if, if you know, you know, link in the description. I don't do much, so... Oh yeah, and also, I do feel like my butt is smaller. I know I said this in the last video, and people, I was like, I'm just waiting on the fluff. I just feel like it's, it's smaller. I just, uh, yeah. But, yeah. So, anyway, enough talking. I'm going to go ahead and get out this fall house so I can show you guys what I'm looking like. Okay, so I have, um, like, some sweatpants. But, this is my stage two fall house. This is a fall house one. And I have on um, underwear. But this is how I'm looking in the fall house currently. I have on a, a lipo thing, but like I said, like, I don't know if it's me eating or is it, I don't have enough compression on me or whatever, but this is just me in the actual faha, so I'm going to actually take it off. And all I have is a phone, like I don't put my board on, which could be a reason, but that's just what's today. So, this is me from the side. So, this is me when I suck in. Like, this is what I'm trying to get to, basically. Which you can see the faha is indenting me. But, that's what I want to get to. This is me when I push out. So I don't know if it's me like getting fat or if it's swelling, whatever. But like you can see how it be indenting me if I don't wear the foams. But I also get like lines and stuff and crazy stuff when I like look at it. So I just don't be knowing what to do. So in all honestly, honesty, I think I'ma just hold out of my faha until the 360 come in this is my back view i'm probably gonna get the monetized but so yeah but i do honestly like i've been thinking about a round two just because i want to get the rest of the fat like i said like and it's not a lot but like you could have that this coming out and coming into my butt could have made a huge difference and what i want it to look like like but again i'm not ungrateful so like if it came down to it i could just get into the gym very much and do all the other stuff so like it's not so, like, it's not a huge thing. Like, I'm not pressed. Plus, it's only six weeks <laughs> of healing. I still have a long road to go. So, again, so am I, I probably won't do another one until about three months. I'll probably do a three month and then a six month. A one year. Cut it at one year. So, yeah. But after this, I'm about to do a, um, a try on haul. I had ordered some clothes and also been getting clothes for my business. Stay tuned for that video. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and if you have not already subscribed, and join the Cinnababe gang. Gang, gang. But yeah, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully, I will see you guys in my next video. This is Stan Snyder now. Peace.